Okay, I'm waiting to see how things go. I keep hearing they're trying to get even. Their family's trying to get even. Whoever is doing this, they're already getting caught. Seven of Swords reverse. Divine masculine, divine femme. Y'all's families are already getting caught. Excuse me. They're waiting to see how this um, this conflict spell or whatever they did behind the scenes. They're waiting to see how um, it goes. They're waiting for you guys to fight or something like that. It's not going to go how they're thinking. The Empress. Divine Feminine. They're waiting for you guys to be fighting or something like that. Or have some kind of conflict. They could be doing this over a mother. Um, or some, yeah, Divine Femme. The Empress. This could be Divine Masculine too. Um, some Empress energy though. Something with your love life. Waiting to see how things go. With some kind of conflict spill. Yeah, they're waiting for you to be out in the cold, possibly kicked out, or um, have nowhere to go, or be poor somehow. They're waiting for, I keep hearing call the police. They're waiting for the police to be called. I don't. I just don't see no fight or conflict. I just don't see that. These people are delusional, unfortunately. What else? Waiting to see how things go. Yeah, they're waiting for you guys to uh, separate or something like that or have some kind of conflict. Lovers reversed. Yeah, this is your family's karma. Your family is about to get some kind of karma. Both sides of the family, though. Divine Femme and Divine Masculine. Or um, this could be um, both sides, like uh, two group of people. Both of y'all circles, it's a group of people doing this. Four of Wands. This could be a Libra. This is going to balance out. This is, um, honestly, this is just going to bring you guys closer and closer together is what these people don't realize. They're in the spirit realm just doing stupid, foolish stuff. Yeah, they're tripping because you guys are happy or fulfilled or blessed. Somebody's also upset because you're a mom now, a mother now. Knight of Swords. Somebody is going to be rushing in with some kind of communication or recently did. They could have told you something, Divine Feminine, or you was picking something up intuitively. Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is a person doing um, dark magic or something like that on you guys. It ain't going to work. What else? How it keeps coming out, King of Coins, yeah, how it keeps coming out. This is either your father doing this, some masculine energy you are associated with, or your divine masculine's people or his family. What came out when we started was a father on an empress's side. Um, he was paying or doing something in the spirit realm behind the scenes, working with divine masculine's family to um, do some kind of dark magic so you guys fight. What's out is conflict spell. They're trying to create a conflict spell. So they're waiting on the results. It ain't gonna work. It's gonna backfire. Unfortunately, it looks like on your guys' family or on these people, it's just gonna bring you closer, into, closer together. It's gonna bring you guys into the Four of Wands. There could be um, some kind of celebration coming up or some kind of homecoming. Um, reunion or some kind of milestone either way justice is going to play out for you guys you guys are good this relationship or marriage is still going to be good some of you guys are waiting on a child king of coins this could be a virgo taurus capricorn um pisces cancer scorpio is here too aquarius libra gemini Yeah, I'm seeing like there's a merchant here or some man with money. They're waiting. There's a sand clock. So someone's father or something like that is waiting. Some masculine. This could be your dad or your ex. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What else? Waiting to see how this conflict spells goes or something. It ain't going to go how they're thinking. King of Cups. There's another masculine energy here too. Um, this, I feel like this is your divine mass, you know, this king of cups energy. He's feeling something intuitively or something like that. 
King of Wands reverse. It's like a whole group of people. They're trying to have him um, like bully you or something. They're trying to have him initiate some kind of fight with you or something like that. This could be a karmic male doing this also. Okay, show me this. Well, what are they expecting for how this to go? King of Wands reverse. What are they expecting to happen? They're expecting some kind of accident or something or danger, injury. They could be expecting you guys to get injured, one of y'all to get injured. That's sad. They're expecting a tower moment, basically. Some of you guys are in separation. <laughs> some of y'all are in separation and they don't even know or something like that. Well, how else are these people or families expecting this conflict spell or something to go? They think they're getting some kind of payback or getting even because you guys are in alliance with each other spiritually now. Wow. What else? King of Coins. Yeah. Your father or somebody paid for some kind of spell work or a reading or something like that. Because he's upset about something with your blessings or your success, your fulfilled, something like that, your, your well-being. Some of you guys, um, this is somebody doing this over a man or a father. Doing some kind of dark stuff over his blessings. Queen of Cups reverse. There's a feminine energy, very needy, insecure, obsessed with you guys. Out in the Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing something about sister. This could be the sister out in the Five of Coins. Somebody said ties with a sibling. They said ties with a sibling that's really sad and hurt. They're trying to get revenge over you. They're obsessed with trying to get revenge. Whoever that is, she's overloaded, burdened, overwhelmed with some kind of obligations. She's trying to team up with whoever this is, your father or something, or whoever is in your circle behind the scenes doing this working with her she's trying to get even or something it's not gonna work yeah i keep hearing hurry up call the police call the police yeah they're like they're about to fight nobody's fighting that's not what i'm seeing in this energy y'all look like y'all could be kicking it in the four of ones Knight of Swords, it's gonna backfire. Calm, yesy, calm. They're they're full of shit. These families, I'm sorry, full of shit. There ain't no damn uh, conflict. Y'all are calm, cool, collected. Possibly enjoying your guys's um, family, inner peace, meditation, simplicity. Ain't nobody fighting. They're trying to create an injustice. They're trying to make sure you don't get a proposal, or this person is irresponsible. They're trying to do this to stop a marriage or stop you guys from being a couple or being married. They're, yeah, see, they're trying to stop something. Stop. They're trying to keep you guys in some kind of illusion or something like that. Wow, these families are wearing a mask. Something with... They may not be telling you this in the, in the material world, but behind the scenes, they're upset about something with your stability, harmony, or the fact you ex you've accepted something. This is just surreal. Okay. Show me this. They're trying to create an accident. They look like they're trying to get somebody to have some kind of drama or lash out on you. But this person's very in control of their emotions and feelings. That's what I see for both of you guys. Wow. This is unbelievable. I see babies here too. I see women holding babies. So you guys could be a mom or mother. Okay, show me this. They're waiting to see how some kind of conflict spell goes to create some kind of accident, injury, or some kind of danger. King of Wands reverse. I feel like they're trying to um, have trapped. They're trying to keep somebody trapped. I feel like they're trying to have um, whoever the masculine energy is, they're trying to have that person initiate some kind of fight. They're doing this so he stays trapped, could be 34 years old. I see 34 and 37. 
Um, I feel like they're trying to have him initiate some kind of drama or fight with you. And then like the cops are supposed to be getting called. And then they're, they're doing something so someone's trapped or that you're trapped or locked up or something like that. This is what they're thinking. Yeah, chaos. They want this chaos. They're trying to bring a tornado to your guys' home or your life or your family. Wow. He's not doing nothing like that. I see a king of cups here. Show me this king of cups. I just don't see this person doing nothing like that at all. They're not even thinking about doing nothing at all. They're disgusted with whoever these people are. Okay, he knows somebody's trying to make you feel like you're not beautiful. You're not a good person. You're not a lovely person. They, he knows somebody's trying to make you feel insecure. They could have some kind of beauty spell over you guys or an ugly spell or fat spell or something with your fertility. He knows something about that. He knows about all this kind of stuff. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something about release. Creativity reverse. You could be waiting to release a creative project or some kind of um, creativity or possibly you could be getting ready to give birth or something like that. He knows what they're trying to do. Chaos. Are they trying to have, show me the traps. What are they trying to do? Have a divine femme trap or what? Yeah, they don't want you to have any type of happiness or joy. This could be their mother doing this. Somebody knows you're happy or they see that you're happy. They could uh, see your social media, watch your social media or something like that. They know you're happy. They want you to be trapped or in jail. So basically they want to punish you for being happy. Uh, they could be trying to um, gratitude. They could be trying to have some woman in jail or a pregnant woman stuck somehow. And traps, are they, what is this divine masculine trap? Are they trying to have a mask? Some of y'all are trying to have a masculine, they're jealous. He knows they're jealous of you, basically. You got some bitch hella fucking jealous over you, obsessively doing magic, and then partnered up with somebody in your in your circle or something behind the scenes. Possibly your father. Wow. They want one of y'all to be injured. So what happens if he goes to jail? What if you all did fight and he went to jail? Because it looks like it's a masculine energy family or circle doing that so they're trying to get this empress locked up in jail and then what are they supposed to do that so they can hold on to him what if he gets trapped what if he goes to jail what if they're not even thinking nothing like that <laughs> they're thinking just stupid shit yeah they're praying that you guys go your separate ways they could be trying to get him to travel somewhere or move somewhere yeah, he already discovered this. They think you guys are stupid or something. Enlightenment reversed. He already knows what's going on. Over this King of Cups is. He could have been feeling guilty or something like that. They're trying to keep him like on the chain, ball and chain. This is terrible. What is this guilt, Divine Masculine? They want him to feel guilty for giving you an offer. He feels like these um, people are being really selfish, immature. Yeah, they're doing magic. He already knows about this. Yeah, it's not going to materialize. It's not going to happen. You got some, some bitch on his side is super fucking pissed. Vengeful. She ain't getting nothing. She's having sleepless nights. She's, she's not sleeping much. She's barely sleeping. Just barely sleeping. Just stalking you guys or something like that. She just stays up doing dark magic over you guys or talking about you guys, gossiping or something like that. Yeah, she stays up. She's been staying up all night trying to do some kind of mental magic to try to fuck with your guys' perception or something like that or keep you guys um, both not sleeping or something. Her goal is to try to break you guys up. You guys could be living together as a family. This could be um, a brother or a divine masculine sister. She ain't sleeping at all. How do these people function? She's waiting. She did magic or some kind of mental magic. She's waiting for her to see if it worked the results. Yeah, she's just waiting or something for cups. She gonna be surprised when the shit don't work. This is confirmation. She's about to be getting karma. Just racking up more and more karmic debt. I don't know if they don't just believe that or what. 
Wow, what is this beauty reversed? She's doing, yeah, she's doing some kind of beauty spells over you or something with your fertility or love or abundance. She's jealous of you or something with your beauty. She's very ugly or a very ugly person inside. She's she's jealous because you're um, very attractive or something or this person's attracted to you. You could be somebody young or you're younger than her. She's You make her feel ugly or something like that. You make her feel like she's not pretty enough or beautiful enough. Yeah. The bitch is jealous as fuck. She's trying to be you or something or having fantasies about being you. Somebody at a distance possibly. Wow. Well, I don't see no chaos between these people. These people are trying to imagine in their mind that you guys are going to be fighting and stuff. Show me this fate reverse. King of Pentacles. Temperance. Yeah, some of you guys, your father is jealous of some kind of success that you're experiencing. Temperance could be a Sagittarius. You've been working on yourself, persevering, and you've been, um, excuse me, whatever you've been working on or working towards or waiting on, invested into, is protected. You've been patiently waiting and healing and cleansing. Knight of Wands and Three of Pentacles. You could be very driven, ambitious, goal-oriented, or very focused on some kind of um, business act activities or something like that, or some kind of travel. What is this Three of Pentacles? They know you guys are going to be moving forward with something, or moving somewhere, or being together, or as a family, or working on something with business. This is why they keep trying to be in the Five of Swords and trying to hurry up and sabotage that with magic. Wow, this is so sad. Who is this King of Pentacles? Is this a Divine Feminine's family members? That could, um, world, that could very well be um, someone in your family, Divine Feminine, or your father, brother. <clears throat> that could be a brother or something like that. Yeah, they're getting some kind of ideas to be in the Seven of Swords about you for some reason. Something about your success. Okay, show me this overload. Queen of Cups reverse this person doing magic so somebody else is insecure or something like that. They want you in the Five of Pentacles because she's mad. You guys could have cut off these people. <clears throat> she's mad because she's out in the Five of Pentacles overload yeah she's doing some seven of swords stuff she wants you to be overloaded or stressed or burdened so basically she's trying to send you her energy some yeah she's trying to send you her energy you guys could be sensing this she's trying to send you her energy she's doing this at a spiritual level she's trying to make you guys um um whatever she's going through she wants you to be in that energy that's not going to happen that way is she's going to miss the opportunity and it's not going to manifest she needs to find something uh, better else, something else better to do with her life. Um, yeah, you guys are calm. Knight of Swords, y'all are calm. There's nothing to be, <clears throat> yeah, high refined. You guys already learned from all this. There's nothing to be stressing about. There's nothing to fight over. What are you guys supposed to be fighting about? Because they're heartbroken. Someone wants you to be fighting because you spoke out about the truth. You spoke out about the truth or somebody told the truth or said something or you know the truth or you're confident about the truth. They want you to be heartbroken about that. You guys could have told some kind of truth to a king of cups or this is a king of cups that spoke out about the truth. I feel like a divine feminine or an empress spoke out about some kind of truth and um, told her divine masculine counterpart something. And uh, these people are tripping heartbroken. I just don't get why would you be heartbroken over that for telling the truth because they're trying to carry out some kind of lies or illusions you could have exposed some kind of deception or something like that yeah you did they can't stand that you're calm now or something like that you exposed or spoke out or warned your person about these manipulative people these manipulative family or friends some of you guys could have spoke out about a karmic masculine. Yeah, they they're just continuously keep doing this over and over. They just can't stop. They can't stop. They yeah, uh, they're waiting. They did some kind of magic or spell recently. 
and they're just they're just waiting on the results just thinking it's gonna happen these people i'm sorry but are idiots death they could be waiting on a death or waiting for somebody to die or something like that or a situation to end i really feel like though overall they're waiting for you guys to break up or something they're they're waiting for you guys to move on from each other okay they're trying to end a situation a domestic situation or a, a house situation there could be a change um there could be a transformation going on in a in a living situation or some kind of property what else are they waiting on death house Someone, some family is also doing this because they're getting ready to lose some kind of home, a family home or something like that. Their place is about to go into some kind of foreclosure. So they need you guys to fight or something like that. You are blocking out their messages or letters or something like that. They could be challenged by some kind of communication. Okay, what are these, these families, what are they doing? They're waiting for what? What is this house? Six of Cups. Something with your guys' reunion. Your life is improving. Um, something about friends or family. Renewed enthusiasm. Uh, renewed enthusiasm. Approved finances. So basically, you guys got a happy life or a happy home life. They're trying to create a death to that. Somebody's doing this to try to protect a house. Someone's family. One of y'all's family's members. Temperance. Yeah, you guys are healing rifts. You're avoiding your egos. You guys are ascending. This is twin flames that are reconciling. You guys are uh, cooperating in peace. They're tripping. So they're purposely trying to have you guys fail. Death. What are they waiting for? Death. Some family members. Whatever they're paying for is just a waste of time. Whatever your father's doing or paying for is a waste. Strength. This could be a Leo. Some of you guys, they are um, trying to end something with something with a child or something with your love or romantic life. You're aligning now. Be patient. You gotta, you're in a very strong position. You're in a strong position right now. Someone's challenged by that. Death. Something about your confidence. They feel like you're helping somebody transform and uh, be more confident or something. And you're helping them stay positive. You're working with somebody or a group of people or something to be good or better or something like that. You're helping people go through their transformation or your partner. Ten of Pentacles. Do you have a secure family life or secure legacy? This could be a Taurus also. Traditional relationships. It seems like they're trying to stop you guys from settling down or just enjoying your marriage or something. They are really tripping. Letter is a challenge. Oh, that's a lot out. Um, Knight of Swords reverse. The star. They could be trying to abuse somebody or bully somebody. They don't want you to speak out about the truth. Somebody don't want you to speak out and tell the truth. They're like, how dare you tell the truth or something like that? Or how dare the truth get out? Yeah, someone's speaking out about the truth. These family members or these people are very resistant to the truth. They feel like they're losing all control. Yeah, you're inspiring somebody or something like that. You're helping somebody be strong or something, more confident. That's triggering some people. They want you to shut up and stay quiet or something like that. This could be a uh, whistleblower. They're trying to stop whatever that is or whoever that is. Wow. They're trying to make sure somebody doesn't receive some kind of communication or something. Letter. They could be trying to make sure you guys don't talk for some of you guys. Judgment. Yeah, they're getting all exposed. King of Coins reverse. Some karmic masculine is getting exposed or your father is getting exposed. Is this divine... Um, Where's my other deck? Is this Divine Feminine's family or something? Divine Fem's father or some masculine energy? This could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. 
whoever this is is very insecure and possessive over you is this divine femme's father yeah he feels like for some of y'all he feels like you guys are moving on selling away or maturing your father could be insecure or feeling insecure about you working on yourself some of you guys your father doesn't want you to work or hold down a job yeah some of you guys he's feeling jealous of your success or something like that yeah something about your will of fortune somebody's father doesn't want the daughter to be married i don't know if they just don't like your person or what but it's coming out like they're possessive insecure jealous they could be doing something for money too or doing some kind of ruthless things divine femme's father king of coins reversed or some masculine energy yeah jealous five of swords your father definitely could be trying to sabotage things for you okay yeah or a group of people this could be a group of masculine energies they're feeling uh, resentful they don't want you to have any kind of blessings they want you to be in the will of fortune reverse possibly and king of pentacles reversed for divine masculine's side whoever needs to see this three of swords some heartbreak there could have uh, been something that happened with his father or somebody um some karmic masculine some masculine energies on his side or his side of the family are heartbroken because he's in this magician energy you got him inspired or something like that they're heartbroken because he's uh He's using his own willpower and directing his own life, his own energy, creating his own life. Yeah, I keep hearing this is our vision, not theirs. He's doing what he wants to do in regards to his own life. Someone's hurt by that. Yeah, so you guys are both basically, that could be his mom too, Empress Reverse, or somebody codependent. They want him in the Four of Cups energy six of swords so basically they see you guys both in the six of swords they're surprised by that so they this could be his friend or your friend they're surprised like this person is in the magician energy so maybe they were accustomed to manipulating this person or having them in their energy somehow or having this person like powerless gift they're heartbroken by his gift possibly one of his friends is is hurt this is so sad and petty they're heartbroken about a wedding or the fact he's going to be getting married or, or something like that this is so bad okay he's um someone's mad possibly because he's not com having a conversation or not talking to them or blocking out some kind of letters or communication. If they would stop doing what the heck they're doing, maybe you guys would be talking to them. You guys are not just talking to them for no reason. getting caught it's just making it worse and worse it's going to keep making you guys more and more detached and more and more distant yeah you guys are going to just keep focusing on your ten of pentacles though okay what does divine feminine want to communicate in this energy we're going to close this reading out divine fem divine feminine want to communicate Yes, yeah, see, there's family right there. Divine Femme. Okay, mirroring. This could be your twin flame or your uh, soul, your twin soul or your reflection. You guys could be mirroring each other right now. There could be some kind of synchronicities going on. 
You guys could be a Pisces or a Cancer or involved with one of those signs. And um, you guys are very in alignment right now in the spirit realm. Show me Divine Masculine. They're done settling. He's done settling. He could be working on his material world or his money, job, goals, his health, his body. Divine Feminine. What does Divine Feminine want to communicate? Mirroring. So, <clears throat> Divine Feminine, your, your people or your family could be mirroring what his family is doing now or what they've been doing. Some kind of dark demonic stuff. They could realize that um, his people are doing that, so now that they're now they're trying to be in alliance and copy that to take you guys down. <clears throat> Something about intimacy. You guys could be um, intimate or uh, craving some kind of intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. And divine masculine is not going to be settling no more. Okay, he says he's getting ready to move. Someone's trying to stop him from moving. Somebody could be trying to um, block him or stop him from changing his residence or moving in with you. Divine Femme mirroring. A lot of y'all Divine Femmes are just remaining calm. Somebody could have betrayed you. They're saying they're sorry they betrayed your trust. They turned their back on you when you needed them the most. This person could have turned their back or you did. You're keeping somebody on their toes. So you're keeping him on his toes. He's getting ready to move. I'm learning how to trust and be more open again. A lot of y'all had trust issues. And Divine Masculine, he's done settling. He's getting ready to move. He was upset when he found out some stuff. Whatever came out to light in the sun energy. And he had some kind of an epiphany about whatever that is. He just decided, I gotta go. I, I gotta move. He says, I don't have anywhere else to go. So he may be trying to come to you. I see a four of wands and ten of pentacles. Um, Empress, you guys, some of y'all could be taking care of yourselves or have your own place. He's trying to come live with you or wherever you're at or staying at. He don't got nowhere else to go, he's saying. He says he was in some kind of poverty consciousness settling or somebody had him in some kind of poverty consciousness. Maybe he comes from a poor background. He was in some kind of scarcity mindset, insecure. He had a lack of faith. He didn't believe, he did not believe that he deserved the best or better. Wow. And what else for both Divine Femme and Divine Masculine overall energy? Overall energy. You guys could have been crying. Y'all could have both cried recently. Make the first move. You guys are both expecting. <laughs> Y'all are both expecting each other to make the first move. Somebody can't keep your name out of their mouth. Crimes against children is what I see here too for some of y'all. Okay, I'm going to go over this real quick. And then I'm going to close this out for the day. Divine Femme. So one of y'all got to make the first move. It's going to have to be this masculine is what I'm seeing because he's ready to move somewhere. He's tired of something. Okay, uh, Divine Femme, learning how to trust and be more open again. You could have trust issues with your person or um, been cheated on or something like that. You could have had uh, trust issues after your person ran away or did some kind of reckless, wild stuff, immature stuff, or betrayed you somehow. He turned his back against you or worked against you or something like that. He could have uh, worked with other people to work against you and do some reckless stuff. Yeah, he worked with some other people, it looks like, in the past, possibly, to get you out of his life or to have you alone antisocial or lonely or depressed so basically your person betrayed you okay i'm sorry i betrayed your trust i turned my back on you when you needed me the most now these people are doing this to him or you guys whoever 
five of swords he sabotaged things with you he's saying that he's sorry five of swords he's realizing now these people are just enemies hidden enemies they're jealous envious of y'all guys yeah he learned this after he ran away from you or turned his back on you wherever he went to go live in some kind of house that he's trying to move from or wherever he's staying wherever he went on the other side the grass wasn't greener he had some kind of epiphanies the tower and the hermit yeah he realized that's not it he's throwing in the towel now seven of wands reversed he's ready to surrender yeah you spoke out or something like that you spoke out and said something about some kind of seven of swords energy you told the truth or something like that on some kind of deceptive people maybe he didn't believe you before now he does because his ass is ready to go i can feel it judgment yeah he had an epiphany today or recently the tower judgment something came out to light Okay, Divine Masculine is done settling and he's ready to move. He could have been on a stalemate. Yeah, he's going to be moving. Knight of Wands. The only problem, it looks like he don't have nowhere to go. Or he feels like he don't have nowhere to go, possibly. Yeah, Six of Wands. Yeah, he's ready to get over all this bullshit. He's feeling like a winner. Like he's he's determined to um, successfully get out of wherever he's at. He was settling. He could be staying in a room or sleeping on the couch or something. Two of Wands. He's trying to move forward. He's about to leave a home. It is Two of Wands. He's, he's internally planning to move and partner up with you. Yeah. He's going to possibly propose to you or something like that or take you on a date or court you. His heart, you have his heart. I keep hearing my heart is with you. You know my soul. This person feels like you know their soul or something like that. What does this masculine want to communicate that's about to move? This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very attracted to you. This person, um, some kind of intimacy. They're focused on intimacy. The chemistry, sexual chemistry. They're thinking about some kind of chemistry or reminiscing, thinking about the past. Do you still love me? He says, do you still love me? And power couple. He wants to be a power um, couple with you guys. He could have been a coward in the past. What else? Divine masculine. You're getting ready to move somewhere change residence but you don't got nowhere to go you've been in some kind of poverty consciousness settling maybe they were feeling like a victim so basically somebody was trying to have him like ostracize you from some kind of group or something it's hard for me to control my ego when i'm around you so he could be nervous about being around you um Wow, what else he's about to move? They were trying to place lustful energy to guide me to them. He says the dark magic isn't working anymore. Yeah, that's why he's gone. He found out about something. Divine Feminine. mastership three of pentacles she's ready to um divine feminine is ready to work with you or help you or collaborate with you possibly give you a place to stay somebody was being greedy divine feminine says somebody was being greedy possibly some family she looks like divine feminine has some kind of stability or a house or something she got a place for you to stay or something like that She's been in hermit mode or alone, possibly single or just taking care of the kids or a child. 
I see two women here holding babies. So this could be a mom. Treachery. She was divine feminine feels like she was set up to be single or um, tricked somehow. Manipulate. I feel like she was... Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, Divine Feminines, are feeling like you guys were tricked into being single. Like you were not, this wasn't asked for. It was a setup. Someone was in the Seven of Swords. They had no type of humility for you or nothing, just doing treacherous things. Yeah, this is terrible. Anyways, show me um, Divine Masculine. I'll clarify that after. Show me Divine Masculine. He's getting ready to move or change residence because the dark magic ain't working no more. He ain't got nowhere to go. Seven of Wands. He's like, um, he's like, I just want to protect you, babe. I'm in this bravery energy now. I'm ready to stand my ground on this union. This, I see a lot of fish here. It's goldfish. This could be a Pisces. Um, this could be a Leo too. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else do I ask when you want to communicate? You're about to move. Single. I just heard single. He's. I heard single. Single and alone. He could be single and alone or lonely. He's in the Nine of Cups. He's seeing you as wish fulfillment. He's ready to stand his ground. He's. You're the Nine of Cups to him. He wants to protect that. Satisfaction. Some of these masculines could be drinking and stuff. I see, a, um, excuse me. Um, I see some, a glass of wine. Okay, uh, divine masculine, get ready to move. Yeah, he's discovered his self-worth. He's coming. He could be feeling out in the cold and lonely. He's coming. Self-worth and divine feminine. You, some of you guys could be having a hard time giving up control too because of um, trust issues. Spirit says there's a need for forgiveness. They could have betrayed you and a child or a baby. I'm hearing somebody wants you guys to mind your business or something like that. This is your business. This relationship is your business. I'm picking it's a karmic energy. They want you guys to mind your business or something. This could be somebody that he's staying with. A karmic he's staying with. Yeah, they don't. They don't want some information out. They don't want you to help. Somebody don't want you to help your divine masculine because they know he's getting ready to leave a house or wherever he's staying at to go stay with you or something like that. They don't want you to help him. You guys do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Nine of Cups. They don't want him to being happy with you and stuff. That is sad. Okay, show me this Divine Feminine. Looks like there's a foundation here with this Four of Pentacles. They were expecting him to like pour out your cup, reject you. Four of Pentacles, Divine Femme. He's coming to your house or something like that. This is why they want you to... Um, this is why they don't want you having no stability. They don't want you to have no money. They don't want you to have no income. They don't want you to have no place. They don't want you holding down a job. I mean, this is why these energies that be coming out when they're pissed off because you're stable. This is why, because they don't want him. They don't want you helping him or supporting him. So he gets on his feet or something. Because what I'm seeing now is a lot of these masculines, they've had their finances drained on purpose because this karmic energy knows that they're getting ready to leave and they don't want them to share wealth with you. But something is in this energy here with this Divine Feminine. She's trying to be in this Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles with this Divine Masculine and helping him or something. She's got some kind of stability or a property or a house, apartment or something. She looks like she got her own stuff. They're trying to destroy your confidence and stuff on purpose. Yeah, you're independent. The star, you could be, um, you're this person's whole focus in their life. They're looking at you like... You're their guiding light. You're their, you're their star. They look up to you or something like that. You've just been healing, cleansing. 
Yeah, you're not giving up your stability for no fucking karmic. They just want to hold on to this person so they can keep being greedy. King of Swords. Do you guys could be talking or you're going to be receiving some kind of communication soon? They're thinking about coming towards you, King of Cups. Yeah, King of Swords, King of Cups. He could be watching you somehow or talking about you, talking to you. Either way, he's thinking a lot about you, in love with you, and trying to come towards you. Yeah, he's he's leaving a Ten of Coins reverse situation. He's trying to recover, heal from that. He's looking at you like um, you're going to help him or some kind of welfare. Yeah, he's looking at you like um, you're in some kind of humanitarian energy. Yeah, he had some kind of revelation. He's about to move out, up out of the house. He could have lost his job or lost money. He's definitely 1,000% moving up out of this place. Wherever he's staying at, whoever keeps trying to block him. They keep trying to block him. This is terrible. They're doing all kinds of stuff. They're trying to block him from being in this Knight of Cups energy with you. They're trying to make sure he doesn't see you as the star. Okay, and Divine Masculine, Seven of Wands, getting ready to change locations or residence. He ain't got nowhere else to go or something. Seven of Wands. He's finally realizing like he deserves better self-worth. That situation is cold and lonely over there. Three of Cups reversed. Some of you guys, um, he could be staying with his friends or some family. That situation is done and over with, with that third party. Okay, he's protecting you guys against the third party. He's doing this at a spiritual level or behind the scenes. This could be a Pisces. He could be um, getting readings done to uh, keep, uh, keep up with the situation to protect you guys. He's doing something behind the scenes to protect you guys. He's in his yang energy, assertive yang energy, protective mode. Yeah, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some of y'all. This person that's in love with you, possibly secretly in love with you. Yeah, he's like, fuck these people. Well, the Hierophant, the star, it could be a Taurus or an Aquarius. Yeah, he must be getting readings done. On some kind of devil energy. He's, he's, yeah, he's reading a lot or researching. He could be um, talking to a, a mentor or getting readings done or watching um, some kind of readings. He's getting some kind of spiritual education though and getting inspired. He's getting woke basically. He's seen enough. That's what, I, that's what I'm feeling in this energy. He's like, I've seen enough. Nine of Cups. Yeah, he's going to be coming towards you in this Knight of Cups energy. He's going to be going towards a Queen of Wands energy. Whoever this is, independent, um, attractive, feminine energy. Very strong and brave. You could be very quiet, mysterious, or um, a boss, boss babe. He's looking up to you. I'm hearing how you looking up to me when I look up to you. He's looking up to you. He's looking up to you right now. There could have been a gender imbalance. There was a, some kind of gender imbalance possibly because some jealous bitch strained his finances or some greedy gold digger bitch. You're a Nine of Cups, Divine Masculine. He's looking at you like you're the Nine of Cups. Yes, he is about to um, be in this Eight of Cups energy and he's about to be going towards his Ten of Cups with you.